Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. Hello, welcome back everyone. This is case number 4 in abdomen. Today our patient is a 70-year-old patient presented with constipation, abdominal pain and distension for 4 days duration. For, so this is the uh, anteroposterior radiograph of the abdomen in a female patient. Actually it's the supine one, supine x-ray and so you can see, gross, see a grossly distended bowel loops. Yeah, you can see a grossly distended bowel loop. So it has appearance like a coffee bean. Coffee bean appearance. And it points towards the uh, left iliac fossa. It points towards the left iliac fossa. And uh, so it is roughly more than 6 centimeters in diameter this region and you can see dilated peripheral bowel loops here 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 they are dilated large bowel loops so you can see the hostra here hostra can be seen and central you can see some dilated small bowel loops also through the grossly distended bowel loop and but here you can't see any hostra and it extends toward this bowel loop extends towards the uh, left uh, left side of the abdomen and uh, probably to d12 vertebral level d12 vertebral level or maybe d10 d, actually d10 vertebral level d10 to d12 here it's d10 and you don't see any uh, yeah within the wall no pneumatosis intestinalis and here you can't see the liver to check the port of venous gas and you can see some bowel loops here but actually it's not rectal gas they are small bowel loops which are displaced by this distended large bowel loop this is not rectal gas these are small bowel loops again and so no obvious uh, football sign in this region and so no bony abnormalities in this patient so in this case the diagnosis is distal large bowel obstruction obstruction due to cecal valve sigmoid valvulus due to sigmoid valvulus due to sigmoid valvulus differential diagnosis is cecal valvulus So, so we have to differentiate whether it's cecal valvulus or sigmoid valvulus. In previous presentation also I said the differences. Just to recap those differences, uh, you can see in the sigmoid valvulus bowel loop is on the left side and pointing towards left iliac fossa and cecal valvulus it points towards right iliac fossa and the shape in sigmoid valvulus is cis coffee bean cecal valvulus it has a pseudo kidney appearance and uh, in cecal valvulus there are hostra sometimes but sigmoid valvulus you don't see hostra and also in cecal valvulus there will be dilated small bowel loops however large bowel is collapsed but sigmoid valvulus there are dilated proximal large bowel loops as well as small bowel loops and cecal valvulus usually extend 
up to epigastric region but sigmoid volvulosis can extend up to d10 level here you can see d10 level extension and um, so those are few differences between cecal and sigmoid valvulus and also as i mentioned previously you have to look for complications of this bowel obstruction like pneumatosis intestinalis uh, gas on the diaphragm and football sign for free intraperitoneal air and also ischemic features like uh, portovenous gas so that concludes case number 4 in abdomen so please subscribe our youtube channel then you'll get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos thank you everyone thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this